Despite market headwinds, Bitcoin mining is booming. Hey whoa Jack here, one of the coin fixers here. Just to remind you that we are not financial advisors and this is not financial advice. And if this video brings you any value, do help us hit the thumbs up button. Despite great difficulty, the Bitcoin mining network has broken its own records for hash rate and mining difficulty. According to the most recent data, mining Bitcoin has never been more difficult. After posting a rare increase of over 10% on January 15th, the network's mining difficulty reached a new all-time high of 37.59 trillion hashes. The highest jump since last November, the only time in 2022 when mining difficulty increased by a double-digit percentage. In addition to having a high mining difficulty, data from CoinWars it reveals that despite briefly falling after Terra's collapse in May 2021, Bitcoin's hash rate, which is best described as the network's computational power, has been steadily increasing over the last three years. Bitcoin's hash rate peaked on January 6, 2023, at 361.20 a slash at exa hashes per second. A rightward and ascending yellow chart. Hash rate for Bitcoin since January 2020. When combined, hash rate and mining difficulty show a robust and expanding network. Nevertheless, there have been a lot of recent indications that the mining industry is facing significant challenges. Last September, the Nasdaq listed Bitcoin miner Core Scientific filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And Compute North, a provider of data centers for blockchain startups and crypto miners, did the same. By signing a deal at the end of the year with multifaceted cryptocurrency company Galaxy Digital, mining operation Argo was able to avoid doing so. In order to strengthen their balance sheets, some miners have also been selling off their Bitcoin reserves. Bitcoin mining equipment at a farm. In addition to all of this commotion, Bitcoin's hash price, a term created by mining platform Luxor to describe the potential for mining to generate revenue, is down 43% from its average value from 2022. For some miners, mining margins have never been thinner due to the downturn and rising energy costs. Even so, Bitcoin mining is still a lucrative business for some, and it's becoming more and more popular worldwide. Decrypt spoke with some of the sector's leaders to separate fact from fiction and gain an understanding of why mining operations continue unabated in the face of falling Bitcoin prices and widespread insolvencies. Hash rate and mining difficulty, a brief introduction. Every 2016 blocks, roughly every two weeks, the Bitcoin network determines the difficulty of mining Bitcoin or how much computational power is needed to earn it, based on the supply and demand of miners. The competition to confirm a block, and receive the reward, increases as more miners are deployed, which ultimately increases mining difficulty. However, as difficulty rises, miners may see their profits decline if Bitcoin's price stays flat, because they will need more computing power and electricity to mine a given amount of value. It is impossible to gauge the sector's temperature solely from mining difficulty metrics because rising difficulty also signals a robust and expanding network. The hash rate now. Simply put, Bitcoin mining rigs work to validate logs of transactions or blocks, which are then added to the cryptocurrency's immutable distributed ledger system. Block rewards in the form of Bitcoin provide miners with a financial incentive to do this. Every time someone tries to break the encryption, a new code known as a hash is created. The reward and addition to the blockchain go to the first miner who transmits a candidate block's valid hash. This encourages miners to validate their blocks quickly. A clear indication of the network's performance is the number of attempts, or hashes, that Bitcoin miners can make to crack the code in a second, which increases with the hash rate. The Bitcoin network is currently operating at an astounding 273.76 a slash s which translates to nearly 273 quintillion code-breaking attempts per second made by miners. The state of miners. According to experts, mining economics has a way of separating the wheat from the chaff. According to Scott Norris, co-founder of Bitcoin miner LSJ Ops. The short answer is that most of the over-leveraged miners have already dropped off. The network and only the quality and low-cost miners remain. They have experienced numerous bear markets in the past and have a model that has kept them going, in addition to having a low energy cost. As a result, the network drop-off isn't as significant as it once was.
Additionally, despite the fact that troubled operations like Cargo and Compute North are in the news, they haven't actually turned any machines off and are still turning a profit, albeit at a lower margin. Despite having a sizable exposure to Compute North, Marathon Digital Holdings, the second largest mining company in the world by market capitalization, continues to grow its Bitcoin holdings. The VP of Corporate Communications, Charles Schumacher, stated, Obviously, there have been challenges to overcome, but all of our miners are still operating. The majority of our active miners are currently located at the location where Compute North once operated. That's on a wind farm in Texas and is currently run by US Bitcoin Corporation 68,000 miners work there. The total company headcount is close to 30 people now, he said, adding that. Because we outsource, we can run pretty lean. He added that negotiating contracts and what we're paying for energy. And a big part of it is the efficiency of our, mining, fleet were other reasons for Marathon's tenacity. Additionally, Marathon has been adept at navigating capital markets and raising money at advantageous times. We haven't ever been forced to sell Bitcoin. We've let people know that we plan to start selling some to help with operating expenses. Before we began, we wanted to ensure that our production was increasing because we didn't want to have to use the equity markets to pay for employee salaries. The business should ideally pay for that, and we would then use outside capital for growth. Marathon is one of numerous miners who are currently using rigs that were purchased in advance. According to Joe Burnett, head analyst at Blockware, this is a standard practice. Building out mining infrastructure can take years. According to him, some of the infrastructure that went online in 2022 and even the beginning of 2023 was paid for with money raised in 2021. This is due to the inability to quickly obtain energy, construct sizable mining facilities, manufacture, order, and ship mining rigs, or plug them in. Not only mining economics and depressed prices can have an impact on the industry. Recently, unexpectedly, Mother Nature contributed to the most recent volatility. According to Colin Harper, head of content and research at Mining Op Luxor, an increase in mining difficulty of more than 10%, like the one observed last week, is relatively very high. This recent significant growth spurt was not brought on by a sudden, massive hardware deployment, though. Instead, a stretch of unfavorable weather in North America before Christmas was to blame for a negative adjustment that was quickly reversed by an upward readjustment. According to Harper, when the cold front swept across North America, some miners shut down due to operational difficulties, while others reduced their power draw to supply electricity back to the grid in response to power shortages. But when the bad weather passed, those miners went back online, increasing hash rate and causing a significant increase in mining difficulty, according to Harper. 37A S, or roughly 14% of Bitcoin's hash rate, went offline due to the cold snap, which caused block times to significantly slow down, and the mining difficulty adjustment to decrease by 3.59% on January 2nd. 37A S, reconnected when the bad weather passed said he. The upward adjustment we saw on January 15th was due to faster block times, which led to faster block validation. Always, someone, somewhere will mine Bitcoin. Energy is currently not in a bear market, despite Bitcoin. Industrial electricity costs have increased 16% between 2021 and 2022 compared to this time last year. While the cost of Bitcoin has almost halved. So, at what price would mining stop being profitable for Bitcoin? It's complicated, I guess. According to Harper, a miner operating an S19J Pro that generates 100 tera hashes per second is currently break even at $0.096 slash kWh power costs. That break even would become $0.048 slash kWh if Bitcoin's price were to drop in half from here. In essence, Bitcoin mining would cease to be profitable only if its value reached zero. Even in the most extreme nuclear bear market conditions, someone somewhere has power cheap enough to mine BTC, he said. Bitcoin is currently trading at around $23,000, and it appears that many miners are returning to the game. Thanks for watching, that's about it for today's video. If it brought you any value, do give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more content just like this, do subscribe.